Process Master, Totalizer Test. This video will demonstrate how to set up an operator page to display all three totalizers, reset your totalizers to zero, clear your alarm history and simulate positive and negative flow and compare the totals. First set up an operator page with three totalizers, forward, reverse, and net. Format them for integer values. Apply power to the meter, the operator page should have a lock icon at the bottom center of the screen, select the right soft key and scroll to the advanced access level, select it. This takes you to the easy setup menu, menu 1, scroll to the display menu, menu 4, and select it. Scroll to, operator pages and select it, scroll to, operator page 2 and select it. The current display mode will be listed, select the display mode, scroll down to 3 by 9 and select OK. Scroll down to the first line, select Edit, scroll down to Totalizer Forward and select OK. Scroll down to the second line, select Edit, scroll down to Totalizer Reverse and select OK. Scroll down to the third line, select Edit, scroll down to Totalizer Net and select OK. Select back until you return to, Operator Pages, scroll down to Volume Format, select Edit and change it for no decimal places, select back to return to the display menu. Reset your totalizers back to zero to give yourself a base point. Scroll to the Totalizer menu, Menu 9, and select it. Scroll to, Reset Volume Totals and select it, scroll to All Volume Totalizer and select it, select OK, the box will fill, select back to return to the Totalizer menu. Clear your alarm history. Any new alarms will be recorded. Scroll to the Process Alarm menu, Menu 6. Select it, scroll to clear alarm history and select it, select OK and when the box clears select back to return to the process alarm menu. Now turn on the simulation mode, simulate a positive flow rate. Scroll to the diagnostics menu, menu 8, select it, select, diagnosis control. Select Simulation Mode, scroll down to Q%, select Back, scroll down to Q% and select it, the current setting will be shown, select Edit, and the maximum and minimum values of the setting is shown below, select Next to place the cursor over the character you wish to change, use the up and down arrow soft keys to change the value, select OK to accept the value, Select back and exit the menu to the operator page. The warning configuration will display at the bottom of the screen, the forward and net totalizers will be advancing, note the net totalizer lags the forward totalizer, this is due to display updating lag, select the right soft key scroll to advanced and select it, return to diagnostics and select it, Edit Q% for 0.0% and return to the operator page, the totalizers have stopped and they match. Now simulate a negative flow. Select the right soft key, scroll down to advanced, scroll to the diagnostics menu and select it, highlight, diagnosis control and select it, Highlight Q% and select it, select Edit, 
before advancing to the first character use the up arrow soft key and toggle the minus sign then advance to change the characters, select OK to accept the value, select back then exit to return to the operator page. Now the forward totalizer is steady and the reverse totalizer is advancing with the net totalizer decreasing, return to the Q% percent parameter and set it to zero, return to the operators page. At any point in time the difference between the forward and reverse totalizers will equal the net. Note when the totalizer stop the difference between the forward totalizer and reverse totalizer is off by 1. The display register will round off the values and this may appear to be an error. Changing the display resolution will resolve this. Select the right soft key, select the advanced access, scroll to the display menu and select it. Scroll down to the volume format parameter and select it, select edit and highlight two decimal places, select OK to accept it and select back to exit to the operator page, the net totalizer is rounded off. This is Cliff McEwen, thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for additions and updates. If you have any questions or comments please contact me at abbwarminsterflowguys at gmail.com.